What's up internet? We have a video coming out next week on the top 6 PC upgrades you can do for less than 1,000 pesos. And the Mini Sapporo 9-in-1 USB hub is part of that video. Sadly, not because it's less than 1,000 pesos, but because it's the upgrade I didn't realize I needed until I started using it. Increasingly, the average PC user needs more and more hubs for different kinds of peripherals. Gone are the days na keyboard and mouse lang yung kailangan mong pag-isipan. And you're not in the clear just because you bought a high-end motherboard. My personal gaming rig has an X570S from Gigabyte. And even that board, which is pretty okay na, medyo high-end konti, only has one USB-C port. And parang everything nowadays is USB-C. And even if your motherboard is super fancy and has all the ports that you need, sometimes those ports are just a pain in the ass to reach because they are in the back of your computer. Hassle magkalikot dun sa likod, trying to figure out where to plug in your USB. These are the very practical problems solved by USB hubs like the Mini Sapporo 9-in-1 USB hub. These kind of hubs give you functionality in case you don't have the ports that they add onto your setup and or also convenience. Even if you do have those ports, having the port hub somewhere close by, within reach, easy to plug in, makes them a lot more convenient to use. This particular hub, the Mini Sapporo 9-in-1 USB hub, is gloriously over-engineered. It has so many bells and whistles that, you know, to be honest, you don't really need, but they are fun bells and whistles. Either somewhat informative or, in some instances, downright useful. One of those useful features is the on-off switch. So now you can charge your devices even if your computer is off. Because the Mini Sapporo 9-in-1 USB hub has a separate power adapter which you can turn on and off at will through the on and off switch on the device. A more aesthetic feature is that there are numbers beside each USB port and when that port is in use, the number lights up. This is somewhat purely aesthetic but you know, it's good to know that when you plug in a USB device or a USB flash drive, when that number goes on, then you know that your computer has successfully connected to that device. Sure, you will see that pop-up notification in your desktop through your software, but it is nice to see a hardware acknowledgement of that. And out of those nine USB ports, there are two which are USB-C, which are specifically meant for charging. If you only use one of those ports, it can output a maximum of 45 watts. If you're using both ports at the same time for charging, they can deliver a maximum output each of 24 watts. Even 24 watts is a lot of power already for one device. Plus, the USB hub will tell you how many watts it is feeding into your device. So I had a fun time randomly connecting devices to see which ones, you know, are big power hogs when they're charging. And again, this is basically useless information. Wala ka naman magawa if, let's say, your cell phone uses 20 watts or something like that. But it is interesting to see, and definitely 24 watts, if you're using both at the same time, is already a lot of juice for many devices. Aside from charging, high-speed data transfers are no problem with the Mini Sapporo 9-in-1 USB hub. Some of the ports support 10 gigabit per second connections. Some of the ports support 5 gigabit per second connections. Now, I'm not a big fan of numbers. As you know, if you watch the channel a lot, I feel that numbers are easily inflated or are easily thrown at the consumer to sound impressive. Pero what does it feel like on the ground? So to test it, I had a camera hooked up to the Mini Sapporo 9-in-1 USB hub as well as the USB radio frequency receiver for a headset. So the camera was outputting in 4K, that's what I used to stream. And then the headset was also the one I was using for audio for that live stream. No problems at all having 4K video coursing through the 9-in-1 hub. And alongside that, the audio data being received and swapped by my headset. Of course, I also tried it with normal data transfers with the USB. No problem. But I really think the streaming example where there's 4K coming from the camera, I'm using it in conjunction with my computer, then I'm streaming, and then alongside that, the headset microphone quality was crystal clear. 
all of that going through the Mini Sapporo 991 USB hub was more than enough proof for me that this device can handle large data loads without any problems. And all of my testing actually was with the Mini Sporo 9-in-1 USB hub connected to my desktop. It's marketed for laptops. All of the marketing on the Mini Sporo website has pictures of laptops and connecting the USB hub to a laptop. But as I found out, it's also great for desktop users like myself. Again, my rig is pretty decent, not a rinky-dinky motherboard, but the Mini Sapporo 9-in-1 USB hub just gives me so many options. Again, yeah, I hate to sound like a broken record, but super convenient for me. It's just here in the back, and then I just need to reach out. I can plug in whatever I need, whether for charging, whether for data transfer, whether for a peripheral that I need to use. No more futzing around in the back to find the proper hole. So this is an extremely useful device, yes, for people with laptops who have limited port options, but even for desktop owners. The Mini Sapporo 9-in-1 USB hub delivers both function and convenience. It's slim, easy to use, practical, very functional. The kicker is it is a little pricey at 4,300 pesos. Now that might sound like a lot for just a simple USB hub, on one hand though, it's not really simple. Yun nga, it can take basically any data, any peripheral, anything that has USB, you can stick it in there. And on the other hand, it is simple. Super simple to use, simple to set up, and it makes your life more simple. It's a luxury, but if you are experiencing any of the problems that I mentioned, you're just tired of having to reach out to the back to plug in yet another USB device. The Mini Sapporo 9-in-1 USB hub is pretty useful. It's not the upgrade that I thought I would need, but once I started using it, it is super useful. And now, I honestly can't live without it. It has a permanent place now on my desktop. Thanks for watching.